Well, absolutely. And it is International Women's Day. So I will say a Coco Chanel quote, which is my life didn't please me. So I created my life. Yes. And I've always taken that concept, like always. And, you know, when Vaughn and I were, were newly married and I was finishing my degree and then we had a baby and we were living in Australia, you know, we didn't know what we were doing. We're kids. We were like in our 20s and we didn't even know how to vacuum until I was married. And so we didn't know anything, you know, I didn't know whether I was going to work full time or whatever. I was studying for six years. And so finally, when we moved back here um, to Toronto, you know, he was working full time and I was, you know, we really realized we were homeowners. We bought our first house, how much it really costs, you know, how much we are kind of committing that financial suicide living off one salary. And that really made me put money to the forefront because I like to do nice things and i expect a certain lifestyle for myself and that life i want to create for myself i want to be able to you know stay home but i also want to have two cars um and i also want to be able to live in a really great area and i want to be able to go on vacation and i wanted to be able to for my kids to do extracurricular stuff right mm -hmm. so just because when it came tough i thought okay so i'm going to fix it and really study money and learn money and finance because i don't have any business background or anything. All I know is I like to do really expensive things and I had to learn how to afford to do it. <laughs> so I put the finances to the forefront. We start, got life insurance. Ooh, like talk about an adult decision to, you know, 28 year olds with two kids got life insurance and, you know, then started to learn all these different sort of mature things and set our 10% aside, invest in mutual funds, with our financial planner. And I swear, like, not a mathematician, but I knew like negative returns in front of my statements probably aren't a good thing. <laughs> and I'm looking at 60% of the time it works every time. <laughs> I love this show. <laughs> oh my God. But you know, like I realized it's not working. And then our projected retirement, you know, they give you that little projection, like you are going to build retirement. It's like $40,000. I'm like, what the heck? Like, what the hell like what am i gonna do and then so we had two kids and we're just going through and trying to figure this out and then we have having more kids and more kids because i do have four kids but it got to the point where it's like okay you know there has to be a different way this is stupid uh you know 2006 hits and obviously everything just goes kaput that all that savings i'm not going to be able to afford my kids send my kids to school i'm not going to be able to afford to retire um, oh my God, I, I, I'm the financial plan. Like me going to work full time is the only way that our family is going to be able to afford to retire and afford to help our kids out. And this is two six figure salaries. Mm. Okay. So I'm like, okay, so this is seriously, what kind of society do we live in that it takes two six figure salaries to get by? Like yeah. not to live in the lap of luxury. I'm not in a yacht in St. Tropez. It's to get by, like, oh my God, thank you. I can retire. Oh, thank you, thank you.